Shalom. Kahn Laimna, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad. Double honor and respect to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson. What vibe are you operating in? So when we use that term vibe, Quite often we just use it loosely and don't really understand what it really means. But we all give off we all give off some sort of a aura of light or a vibration. So we're all led by some sort of a divine spirit, whether that be left hand or right hand side. And what most people don't know is that there is a hierarchy of spirits on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side. And we know that on the right-hand side, the top spirits, the Most High, followed by Yahweh Shai, and then followed by the list of angels behind them in their prescribed rank, file, and order. To prove that, let's go here. <clears throat> we're going to go to the book of Ephesians chapter 6. But we're going to look up the word principalities. <clears throat> and then I'm going to play the video. Ephesians 6 and 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And this is another cut, by the way, to the false hell doctrine. Why are we reading about spiritual wickedness in high places? I thought they were burning underground somewhere in the underworld. No, that's Greek mythology. So these spirits are in the heavenly realm, but they can also operate on earth through fleshly vessels or man. <clears throat> they can manipulate the minds of man and woman. Even during the inauguration, inauguration is a transfer of demonic spirits. When you break down that term, inauguration. The spirits are being augurated or put into vessels. So the Bible is spot on when it's prophesying against King Nebuchadnezzar, against Antiochus. These spirits are operating in their lots in the last days. The king of Assyria, so forth and so on. The king of Tyre, or the king of Tyre and Zidon, and, um, or the king of Tyre in Ezekiel chapter 28. So these spirits, or dark energy, is operating in this realm. Let's read this. <clears throat> <coughs> Ephesians 6 and 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So when we look up this term, principalities, <clears throat> principalities in the Greek, arche, 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 Check this out. Order, place, 
rank, order, time. So these spirits operate in this realm, in this age, this eon. Power, magistrate. See? So they're under a hierarchical government or magistrate. Even when you look up the term government, it breaks down into govern, which is control, and then mint or mente, mind, mind control. <coughs> so kingdoms are under a hierarchy of dark energy. All of the ancient kingdoms were, with the exception of the Davidic dynasty. That's right hand side energy. Matter of fact, let's go to, um, let's read this first. Then we'll play the video and then I'll go a little further. <clears throat> Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news, reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit educational or purpose, nonprofit educational or personal use tips the balance in the favor of fair use. You know what's the crazy part? Why everyone was watching the Super Bowl. And as you were seeing Usher dressed in white, Lisa Kreese dressed in red, the altar was spilling in blood, if you didn't see that. Not only that, the lightning on the floor had a upside down cross on it. If I could find a picture, I'm gonna put it up. I'm gonna show you guys. Hell, you go look at the video. But there's a lightning on the floor where it shows an upside down cross on it. The altar spilling out blood. Okay? Alicia Keys in red. Usher in white. I told you, while everybody's cheering on, thinking everything is cool, everything is fun, they know time is up. They know the end is near. They just don't want you to realize it and see it for yourself. They don't want you to know. They don't want you to repent. They don't want you to make it. There's no conspiracy theory. This is real life things, real life events. God said in the last days, he'll pour out his spirit. People will be preaching all over. Whether that's the phone, whether that's outside. We telling you, we trying to wake y'all up. We trying to get y'all to know. These ain't conspiracy. Hell is coming upon this earth. And if you ain't walking on the right side, it's over for you. Time is literally up, but nobody can't see that. Okay, we're, we can't wake anybody up, okay? He said we're trying to wake people up. Only the Most High can mandate or authorize that decree on who the elect is. And it's not just random people preaching all over the place. The true doctrine is coming from the Lord's elect. <clears throat> so, we're dealing with a hierarchy, a structure of left-hand side energy. And I think there's an account in um, maybe it's 1 Kings 1 and 22, perhaps. I don't want to try to go straight to it. Who, were, who will persuade Ahab? See, 1 Kings 22 and 20. <clears throat> not going to make this long. See right here. And he said, let's go up. We got to go up. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, or Jehoshaphat, did I not tell thee that he would prophesy no good concerning me, but evil? And he said, hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing by him 
on his right hand and on his left. So this host is a organization, a hierarchy. Matter of fact, let's go here. We'll look it up. What is that host? Host. <clears throat> See what it is in the um, Hebrew. Host. <clears throat> Looks like Sabah. Go check it out. Host. Sabah. Sabah. See? Campaign. Company. Soldiers. Soldiers are organized hierarchy. <laughs> or what that's where we get the term chain of command. See? Hosts. Angels. So this is an organization. Everything in the heavenly realm is in order. This is why when we pray, I pray that thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So the Most High is going to establish his kingdom on earth. But right now I'm addressing Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So this kingdom, this structure is under a demonic left hand hierarchy is the point. <coughs> First Kings 22 and 20. Let's go back to 19. And he said, Hear thou, therefore, the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. And the Lord said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go and fall at Ramoth Gilead? And one said on this manner, and another said on that manner. And there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. So these spirits work on the minds of leaders, kings, pastors, priests, prophets. And the Lord said unto him, wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. So the Most High gives the decree, whether it be for life, whether it be for deliverance or destruction or death. And therefore, behold, the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thy prophets, and the Lord hath spoken evil concerning thee. This is why the Most High says to the daughter of Babylon, Stand now with thine enchantments. So he's controlling the left hand dividers that are going doing these seances and channeling spirits through them to give them their orders of the day. Or their instructions. <clears throat> so that's why their kingdom is failing. Because the most high is causing it to fall. <clears throat> it's right here. Isaiah 19 and 3. See? Isaiah 19 and 3. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. And I will destroy the counsel thereof. And they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. So this is why they're called the serpent, the viners. When you look up the word serpent in the Hebrew, it is a sorcerer, a diviner, a magician a warlock or a witch. 
So many people of the masses, mass means death, are under high level demonic energy or dark vibes. They're giving off evil vibrations. They're under enchantment. Genesis 3 and 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, have God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? So eating from the tree of righteousness or the tree of wickedness. It's talking about doctrine. It's not literal fruit. It's talking about doctrines, belief systems. Let's look up this word, <clears throat> serpent. We can see it already, nakash. The Hebrew, nakash. Let's look up the etymology, though. Etymology of nakash. See? A prognosticator, a diviner, enchanter, which is a warlock, a witch wizard so these serpents are enemies of the heavenly divine Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai but as it plays out on the earth remember they're still in order but on the left hand side they're in their order or their perspective or respective lots see to practice divination to observe signs or omens this is why when you read proverbs 16 and 4 the lord have made all things for himself yea even the wicked for the day of evil we looked all that up so we'll go ahead and close out here let's close out here this is um isaiah 47 in the csb see it says, I was getting ready to read the KJV, and I'm not even looking at it. It tells you, I've been reading it, this word, you know, it's because it's stuck in my brain. I was getting ready to say, stand now with thine enchantments, but that's KJV. So let's read the CSB, Isaiah 47 and 12. So take your stand with your spells and your many sorceries, which you have wearied yourself with from your youth. Perhaps you will be able to succeed. Perhaps you will inspire terror. You are worn out with your many consolations. So let the astrologers stand and save you. Those who observe the stars, those who predict monthly, what will happen to you? Let's see if your warlocks and your wizards and your witches can save you from the fiery flame. So he's being sarcastic, making fun of this wicked queendom. Look, they are like stubble. Fire burns them. Remember, the Most High has 360 degree periphery or view, vision. He already has seen the destruction of Babylon. We're dealing with a power that is already that's already seen this thing play out. A three-dimensional 360 degree holographic model. So he's only a portion out a sample of that to the men of the Lord, Yasharala, a prince of the power. Look, they are like stubble. Fire burns them. They cannot rescue themselves from the power of the flame. This is not a coal for warming themselves or a fire to sit beside. So this is the fury and judgment from on high. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, or Kadash. Hopefully, this lesson has been you know edifying. Crazy? All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, or Kadash.
Baraka Thum. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwam Yosharala and the Bad Babal. We got next, Lord willing. Shalom.